Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another clean with me video. And for today's video, I am just going to be doing three areas in my house, three areas that I felt like they needed to be uh, cleaned up. <laughs> and as you guys can see, um, we are going to start in my son's bedroom. Then I am going to work in the bathroom upstairs. And then I am going to be doing the loft area upstairs as well. This is mainly like my husband's chill spot, but you know, um, when we have family over, everybody likes to come up to the couches upstairs better. Um, so we do have a lot of family when they come over, like we come up here and hang out. And then, you know, at the end of the day, this is where we come and hang out after being downstairs all day. So I'm going to go ahead and give all these three places a good cleaning and then you will guys see at the end that I go and I tackle my kitchen as well. My kitchen is one of the main places that I like and love to have cleaned the most. So here we are finally in my son's bedroom and I'm just putting away like little toys that he's had out and all that stuff. I feel like he still has so much stuff. We did get rid on a few occasions. We've gotten rid of like two bags each time. And I want to say that I've cleaned this room out. I want to say maybe like five times and each time it's been like two bags full of toys that we've, you know, just given away. We've donated or, you know, um, just gotten rid of because they weren't, um, giveable <laughs> they weren't like good enough to donate and stuff like it's just straight into the trash so I went ahead and I just picked up around his room put things back into their place and now I'm just folding his clothes we did go ahead and get laundry done so you guys heard in a previous video we don't have a washer or dryer so every chance that I get to go wash clothes I make sure that I have everything that I need to wash and even if you do have a washer and dryer, you guys, hasn't it happened where you have um, everything that you're going to wash and then you go and you find something else that you needed to wash and it's kind of like frustrating because now you have to go and wash it. But, <laughs> but yes, you guys, um, I'm just putting his clothes away. I do have this drawer here um, separated uh, into three sections for his clothes. I do have specific clothes that he has um, hung up, like long sweatpants and sweaters and long sleeve shirts and like polo shirts, you know, uh, with the polo neck, I guess what it's called, um, tank tops and jerseys. And then just shirts that are like way bigger for his age that he'll eventually grow into. I have those put away as well. And then for these drawers, I just have um, his underwear and his pajamas in the last one with his socks as well. In the second one, he does have his t-shirts that he uses to go out. Plus some basketball shorts and then like um, going out shorts if it makes sense and then in the top one he just has like tank tops and shirts that are starting to fit a little bit smaller that you know um, they have like a stain on them or they just you know fit too small but not too small to the point where he has to give away yet but yeah um, I am gonna go ahead and link also those little stickers that were on his uh, drawer um, I did buy those off of Amazon and they were less than $10. Um, it is a big pack and I still have tons of them. So I will go ahead and link them down in the description below. It also comes with a marker and I think they're really, really great. Um, I haven't had any issues with them. I've had them on his drawer for about a month already and they work really well. They haven't, um, you know, tried to peel off and the, um, the chalk marker hasn't tried to come off of the sticker either. And I think they work great. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, link them down in the description below for you guys if you guys are interested.
Spotify picking a new song to listen to um, I usually clean up with loud music you guys but at this very moment I couldn't so I just had to you know settle for it being on my phone but I am gonna go ahead and link down my Spotify um, for you guys down in the description below so you guys can follow along I have different playlists from like different genres so it should be something good songs that mainly everybody listens to maybe songs that you never listened to before but I am gonna go ahead and link it down for you guys and usually weekdays are not my cleaning days it's usually on the weekends um, not I'm not gonna say that every Hispanic is like this but majority of us um, cleaning days were always uh, weekends especially like Sundays like grandma would get up or mom would get up and wake you up and tell you to clean this or go sweep that and all that stuff and they had music out loud so I did grow with that and I do play my, you know, my Hispanic music on the weekends. I do play my salsa or my merengue, my bachata, reggaeton, whatever the case may be. And eventually, you know, like my hip hop, pop, whatever I'm in the mood for. But yeah, you guys will see the playlists in the description box below. really cool um i've always known them as and like electricity lights <laughs> um we did get that for him at five below it was literally um five dollars i want to say um but we did go ahead and get that in five below i'm not sure if they still are in stock um i'm not one to shop in five below so much but the times that i have gone i have noticed that um some things are i don't want to say seasonal but they do have certain things that don't come back and um like there's certain things like when you do see them you know eventually you will see them again but i do feel like there are things that once you um once you see them the first time and you don't grab it they definitely won't be back um the second time you go around and now i'm just putting all his little teddy bears next to his bed in that little corner some of these teddy bears he's had them for a really long time that frog he got it from my mom that jeffrey he did get it from toys r us for his birthday for free one day and just like the other ones that he's had since he was a baby and all that stuff he hasn't really wanted to let go and obviously i don't mind um you know so i let him keep them and everything um he has gotten rid of a ton of them but just these he has like a like a really strong hold on them so I don't mind him keeping them, you know, he's still little, so why not? with his room I cannot be the only mom that feels such satisfaction when she's done cleaning her child's room um, you know we'll see how long this room lasts <laughs> I mean I did clean the room yesterday so um, it's still pretty clean so we're gonna see how long it lasts and yeah but I feel such a satisfaction when his room is clean because there's days where you can't even walk on here you walk in and you pray not to get you know um, stabbed by a Lego so <laughs> it's always a good thing when this room is like spotless 
And now moving on to my bathroom, I went ahead and started with the mirror. This, these mirrors, I feel like when you go brush your teeth or wash your hands, they get the water spots on them so quickly and it's really annoying. But I try to wipe this bathroom down along with the one from downstairs at least two to three times a week. Um, or maybe more than that, it just really depends. Um, but I do try to keep it sanitized as much as possible, especially having an eight-year-old child around. Um, you know, um, I try to do keep them as clean as possible and it just needed a good wipe down this time and the toilet uh, the shower was clean so I didn't need to go in there this time but um, the countertops and you know the handles and all that for the water and the toilet and all that I like to have all of those things uh, wiped down because you know people go in there plenty of times throughout the day and then people go out in and out of the house and all that come to the st go to the store and things like that so I just like to have everything sanitized even before this pandemic you guys I've always been a person to keep everything as sanitized as possible you know the less you get sick the better to the loft area I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down this big round table with some of my fabuloso and bleach solution I love using this solution you guys all I did was grab an empty Lysol bottle that I had left over and I just put I want to say maybe about half of a cup of bleach and then I put in about a cup and a half of like Fabuloso and then the rest I just dilute it with a little bit of water. I try to dilute it with a little bit of water so that the, sh uh, the smell won't be so strong um, for my son and all that stuff. But I do like to use these products a whole lot better. I feel like they um, disinfect a whole lot better. And these are just products that, you know, have been used by my family throughout years and everything. And that's how I was raised and all that. So I like to use those products. I've been using those products. A lot of people say that they're bad, you know, because of the toxins and everything. But, you know, my house is clean. My house is sanitized. Those are the products that I like to use. And my child is completely fine. So um, that is my little solution in case, you know, um, anybody else uh, wanted to know, you know, use that solution for when they clean and all that stuff. So... At least you know that with uh, those two products, everything will be really clean and sanitized. And me personally, I just like the smell. I just like the smell. Um, I think that I smell the Fabuloso a whole lot more than the bleach, even though that bleach is really strong. Um, I think that I smell the Fabuloso a whole lot more due to it being more product than the bleach that I pour into the bottle. So yeah, and then I mean, the smell doesn't linger that long because I do spray like my air freshener and all that just to give the house like a better smell. And then now I'm wiping down 
um, this entertainment center. As you guys can see, my husband has a ton of stuff here. He is a gamer. He has an Xbox and he has his PC there. So I went ahead and carefully wiped everything down. You know how guys are with their electronics. Um, so I like to use um, a napkin, a paper towel uh, with the solution sprayed onto there. I don't spray it directly on the glass and I just go ahead and try to wipe off all of the dust down. This entertainment center, you guys, it collects so much dust. I'm not sure if it's because, you know, it is glass, but it is tinted black. I don't know if it's because of the darker color that you can see all of the dust and everything, but I just feel like it picks up so much dust and it's so frustrating to have to constantly dust this down. But I do like to go ahead and use the solution on a paper towel and then I wipe everything off and I clean it off real good. And then I go ahead and I use these um, microfiber wipes that are to like clean off your TV. They're supposed to be kind of moist. I do buy them at Dollar Tree. And they're supposed to be for your TV, but um, I feel like they dried out within five days after buying them. And I bought these like sometime last year and they were just sitting there. So one day I went ahead and I was wiping off this entertainment center down. And after cleaning everything off with the solution, letting it dry down, um, you could still see dust obviously. So I went ahead with those microfiber wipes and I wiped everything down again. And I noticed that when I used that combination of the wet paper towel with the solution and then wiping it down um, to give it like an extra cleaning with that microfiber wipe, I've noticed that it doesn't get as dusted as it normally did before when I just used to clean it off with the solution and that's it. So I definitely think that for cleaning up dust, if you let them dry out, um, I definitely think that these wipes are really good. Um, I do have to go to Dollar Tree soon and get, hopefully, find another pack. this little table here I didn't want to get rid of it um, because I just felt like it was good for you know it was it was good use but I feel like it's become a catch-all as well up here um, but my husband does place his quest on there and I think it's a great place for it to be like it's a way like yeah it's right there when you come up the stairs but it's like away from everybody where they can bump into it and all that stuff seeing as that the TV takes up majority of the space in the entertainment center. So I went ahead and I wiped this down with my hand because it wasn't that dirty and there really wasn't that much dust on there. I didn't want to waste one of the microfiber cloths on that. So I just gave it a little wipe down with my hand and I just put everything back to where it was. I do have a cubby in the second shelf of this and I just feel like that cubby is just so full of stuff like so many cables and <laughs> it literally drives me insane because I feel like we end up just stuffing things in there you know so it became like a junk cubby and I just I didn't have the patience to go through it this time but eventually I am gonna go through it and see what my husband needs from in there or you know maybe place it in another area of the house like maybe in one of the um, closets and all that stuff so yeah and there's my husband <laughs> asking me if I needed help or anything like that I just told him no I was almost done I wanted to get it out the way to so just you know sit and relax and all that stuff so I went ahead and I finished vacuuming that and then you know the upstairs area was completely his while I was finishing downstairs and all that
And I don't know about you guys, but I get such a satisfaction when everything is clean. Like every room in the house is cl clean and in order. As soon as I'm done cleaning, you guys, I usually go and just sit and relax. Majority of the time, I will go and just like re-shower and just like sit there and just watch TV, light up a candle. You know, if I haven't eaten lunch or anything like that or dinner or whatever, I'll just sit down with my food or a snack or something and just enjoy the relaxation, the calmness, you know, knowing that you don't have to get up and go wash anything or clean anything or, you know, get anything in order because it's already done. And then for the last part, I went ahead and I was like, you know what, let me go take care of the kitchen. The rest of the house is nice, except for the kitchen. And my kitchen is like the main place that I like to have clean. Um, I don't like to cook in a dirty kitchen whatsoever. Um, I just feel like it's very frustrating. And then I feel like my food doesn't come out as good and flavorful. So always, you will always catch me cleaning up this kitchen before I cook anything. Even if it's to make a sandwich, you guys, I have to have this kitchen clean. Um, it's like, I don't know, it's like my main place that has to be the cleanest, you know, next to the bathrooms. So I went ahead and just wiped down the stove, wiped down the counters. And you guys know before I wash my dishes, I go ahead and wipe down my counters. I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's a necessity. And then I went ahead and just gave my dishes a good wash, washed off my sink, and then I just called it a day and I was good to go for the rest of the day. I was happy. I was in a good mood. The house actually stayed clean and everybody cooperated in keeping it clean. So it was a good day. While you guys enjoy the rest of this video you guys I am gonna go ahead and just close it out by saying thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for tuning in if you guys are new to my channel I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys can go check out my other cleaning videos and other videos that I have up on here if you haven't make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss when I upload a new video and also you guys make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it really really helps me out you guys if you guys had any doubt in cleaning any um, you know no type of motivation to clean I hope this video helped you guys out by cleaning with me and thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys <music>